I'm going to take a little break after we get done with this part, and then I'll come back on later on and make some more. We'll continue. Let's start right here. There I beheld the Ancient of Days, whose head was like white wool, and with him another whose countenance resembled that of man. His countenance was full of grace like that of one of the holy angels. And I inquired, one of the angels who went with me, and who showed me every secret thing concerning this Son of Man, who he was, whence he was, and why he accompanied the Ancient of Days. He answered and said to me, This is the Son of Man, to whom righteousness belongs, with whom righteousness is dwelt, and who will reveal all the treasures of that which is concealed. For the Lord of Spirits has chosen him, and his portion has surpassed all before the Lord of Spirits in everlasting uprighteousness. uprightness. This Son of Man, whom thou beholdest, shall raise up kings, and the mighty from their couches, and the powerful from their thrones, shall loosen the bridles of the powerful, and break in pieces the teeth of sinners. He shall hurl kings from their thrones and their dominions, because they will not exalt and praise him, nor humble themselves before him, by whom their kingdoms were granted to them. The countenance likewise of the mighty shall he cast down, filling them with confusion. Darkness shall be their habitation, and worms shall be their bed, nor from that their bed shall they hope to be again raised because they exalted not the name of the Lord of Spirits. They shall condemn the stars of heaven, shall lift up their hands against the Most High, shall tread upon and inhabit the earth, exhibiting all the work, their works of iniquity, even their works of iniquity. Their strength shall be in their riches, and their faith in the gods whom they have formed with their own hands. They shall deny the name of the Lord of Spirits, and shall expel him from the temples in which they assemble. And with him the faithful who suffer in the name of the Lord of Spirits. In that day, the prayer of the holy and the righteous and the blood of the righteous shall ascend from the earth into the presence of the Lord of Spirits. In that day shall the holy ones assemble, who dwell above the heavens, and with united voice petition, supplicate, Praise, laud, and bless the name of the Lord of Spirits on account of the blood of the righteous which has been shed, that the prayer of the righteous may not be intermittent before the Lord of Spirits, that for them he would execute judgment, and that his patience may not endure forever. At that time I beheld the Ancient of Days, while he sat upon the throne of his glory, while the book of the living was opened in his presence, and while all the powers which were above the heavens, stood around and before him. Then were the hearts of the saints full of joy, because the consummation of righteousness was arrived. The supplication of the saints heard, and the blood of the righteous appreciated by the Lord of Spirits. In that place I beheld a fountain of righteousness, which never failed, encircled by many springs of wisdom. Of these, all the thirsty drink, and were filled with wisdom, having their habitations with the righteous, the elect, and the holy. In that hour was this Son of Man invoked before the Lord of Spirits, and his name in the presence of the Ancient of Days. Before the sun and the signs were created, before the stars of heaven were formed, his name was invoked in the presence of the Lord of Spirits. A support shall he be for the righteous, and the holy to lean upon without falling, and he shall be the light of nations. He shall be the hope of those whose hearts are troubled. All who dwell on earth shall fall down and worship before him, shall bless and glorify him, and sing praises to the name of the Lord of Spirits. Therefore the elect and the concealed one existed in his presence before the world was created and forever. In his presence he existed, and has revealed to the saints and to the righteous the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits. For he has preserved the lot of the righteous, because they have hated and rejected 
this world of iniquity and have detested all its works and ways in the name of the Lord of Spirits. For in his name shall they be preserved, and his will shall be their life. In those days shall the kings of the earth and the mighty men who have gained the world by their achievements become humble in countenance. For in the day of their anxiety and trouble, their souls shall not be saved, and they shall be in subjection to those whom I have chosen. I will cast them like hay into the fire and like lead into the water. Thus shall they burn in the presence of the righteousness, the righteous, and sink in the presence of the holy, nor shall a tenth part of them be found. But in the day of their trouble the world shall obtain tranquility. In his presence shall they fall, and not be raised up again. Nor shall there be anyone to take them out of his hands and to lift them up. For they have denied the Lord of Spirits and his Messiah. The name of the Lord of Spirits shall be blessed. Wisdom is poured forth like water, and glory fails not before him forever and ever. For potent is he in all the secrets of righteousness. But iniquity passes away like a shadow, and possesses not a fixed station. For the elect one stands before the Lord of Spirits. And his glory is forever and ever, and his power from generation to generation. With him dwells the spirit of intellectual wisdom, the spirit of instruction and of power, and the spirit of those who sleep in righteousness. He shall judge secret things, nor shall any be able to utter a single word before him. For the elect one is in the presence of the Lord of spirits, according to his own pleasure. In those days the saints and the chosen shall undergo a change. The light of day shall reset upon them, and the splendor and glory of the saints shall be changed. In the day of trouble, evil shall be heaped up upon sinners, but the righteous shall triumph in the name of the Lord of Spirits. Others shall be made to see what they see that they must repent and forsake the works of their hands, and that glory awaits them not in the presence of the Lord of Spirits yet that by his name that they may be saved. The Lord of Spirits will have compassion on them, for great is his mercy and righteousness is in his judgment and in the presence of his glory. Nor in his judgment shall iniquity stand. He who repents not before him shall perish. Henceforward I will not have mercy on them, said the Lord of Spirits. In those days shall the earth deliver up from her womb, and hell deliver up from hers that which it has received, and destruction shall restore that which it owes. He shall select the righteous and holy from among them, for the day of their salvation has approached. And in those days shall the elect one sit upon his throne, while every secret of intellectual wisdom shall proceed from his mouth, for the Lord of Spirits has gifted and glorified him. In those days the mountains shall skip like rams, and the hills shall leap like young sheep, satiated with milk. And all the righteous shall become angels in heaven. The countenance shall be bright with joy, for in those days shall the elect one be exalted. The earth shall rejoice, the righteous shall inhabit it, and the elect possess it. After that period in the place where I had seen every secret sight, I was snatched up in a whirlwind and carried off westwards. There my eyes beheld the secrets of heaven and all which existed on earth, a mountain of iron, a mountain of copper, a mountain of silver, a mountain of gold, a mountain of fluid metal, and a mountain of lead. And I inquired of the angel who went with me, saying, What are these things which is in secret I behold? He said, All these things which thou beholdest shall be for the dominion of the Messiah, that he may command and be powerful upon earth. And that angel of peace answered me, saying, Wait but a short time, and thou shalt understand, and every secret thing shall be revealed to thee, which the Lord of Spirits has decreed. These mountains which thou hast seen, the mountains of iron, the mountains of copper, the mountains of silver, the mountains of gold, the mountains of fluid metal, and the mountains of lead, 
All these in the presence of the elect one should be like honeycomb before the fire, and like water descending from above upon these mountains, and it shall become debilitated before his feet. In those days men shall not be saved by gold and by silver, nor shall they have it in their power to secure themselves and to fly. There shall be neither iron for war, nor coat of mail for the breast. Copper shall be useless, useless also that which neither rusts nor consumes away, and lead shall not be coveted. All these things should be rejected and perish from off the earth. When the elect one shall appear in the presence of the Lord of Spirits, there my eyes beheld the deep valley, and wide was its entrance. All who dwell on land, on the sea, and in islands shall bring to it gifts, presents, and offerings, yet they that deep Yet that deep valley shall not be full. Their hands shall co commit iniquity. Whatsoever they produce by labor, the sinner shall devour, devour with crimes, crime. But they shall perish from the face of the Lord of spirits and from the face of his earth. They shall stand up and shall not fail forever and ever. I beheld the angels of punishment who were dwelling there and preparing every instrument of Satan. Then I inquired of the angel of peace who proceeded with me for whom those instruments were preparing. He said, These they are preparing for the kings and powerful ones of the earth, that thus they may perish. After which the righteous and chosen house of his congregation shall appear, thenceforward under unchangeable in the name of the Lord of Spirits. Nor shall those mountains exist in his presence as the earth and the hills as the fountains of water exist. And the righteous shall be relieved from the vexation of sinners. Then I looked and turned myself to another part of the earth where I beheld a deep valley burning with fire. To this valley they brought monarchs and the mighty. And thus my eyes beheld the instruments which they were making, fetters of iron without weight, then I inquired of the angel of peace who proceeded with me, saying, For whom are these fetters and instruments prepared? And he replied, These are prepared for the host of Azazel, that they may delivered, be delivered over and adjudged to the lowest in condemnation, and that their angels may be overwhelmed with hurled stones as the Lord of Spirits has commanded. Michael and Gabriel, Raphael and Phanuel, shall be strengthened in that day, and shall then cast them into a furnace of blazing fire, that the Lord of Spirits may be avenged of them for their crimes, because they became ministers of Satan, and seduced those who dwell upon the earth. In those days shall punishment go forth from the Lord of Spirits, and the receptacles of water which are above the heavens shall be opened and the fountains likewise, which are under the heavens and under the earth. All the waters which are in the heavens and above them shall be mixed together. The water which is above heaven shall be the agent, and the water which is under the earth shall be the recipient. And all shall be destroyed who dwell upon earth and who dwell under the extremities of heaven. By these means shall they understand the iniquity which they have committed on earth. By these means shall they perish. Afterwards the Ancient of Days repented and said, In vain I have destroyed all the inhabitants of the earth. And he swore by his great name, saying, It's forthward, I will not act thus towards all those who dwell upon earth, but I will place a sign in the heavens, and it shall be a faithful witness between me and them forever long as the days of heaven and earth last upon the earth. Afterwards, according to this, my decree, when I should be disposed to seize them beforehand by the instrumentality of angels in the day of affliction and trouble, my wrath and my punishment shall remain upon them. My punishment and my wrath, said God, the Lord of Spirits. O ye kings, O ye mighty who inhabit the world, you shall behold my elect one sitting upon the throne of my glory. And he shall judge Azazel and all his associates, and in 